In today's video, we're gonna go over everything a home buyer needs to know about the Cadence at Tradition community. We're gonna cover a lot of topics that comes up when I'm working with clients, when we visit the models and we talk to the salespeople. So today's video, we're gonna break down a lot of the information so that you're more informed before you decide to call Cadence at Tradition home. We're gonna talk about the time frame to build, we're gonna talk about incentives that the builder offers. We're gonna talk about the benefits of using the builder's lender and maybe some of the benefits that may not be a benefit when using the lender. We're gonna go over lot premiums. We're gonna talk about the different design packages. We're gonna talk about deposits that are required when you sign a new contract. We're gonna talk about the different elevations that are available here in the community. We're gonna talk about structural options. We're gonna talk about taxes CDD fees, HOA fees, and what they include. We're gonna go over the amenities and cadence at Tradition. Tradition in general, we'll do an overall breakdown of Tradition and a lot of other important information throughout today's video about Cadence at Tradition so that you're more informed if you decide to call Cadence at Tradition home. And if you're ready to get started on today's video, let's jump right into it. Let's talk briefly about the Cadence at Tradition community. Number one, this is a new community being built by Manami Homes, which is a large builder. It's not a small builder, they're nationwide, they're even in Canada. Cadence at Tradition, once it's completely finished and completely built out, is estimated to have just under 1,000 homes and townhomes. Cadence at Tradition will consist of a small portion of townhomes. They're all going to be three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, anywhere from 1,600 some odd square feet to just over 1,900 square feet. What's unique about the townhomes, they all have two car garages. It's all concrete construction going all the way up. A lot of builders don't do that. They do the upstairs with wood frame. Cadence at Tradition, being its Mattamy homes, concrete block construction. All the windows and doors are gonna be hurricane impact windows. And if the front doors and sliding glass doors, those will be hurricane impact as well. So one thing that sets apart this builder, Mattamy Homes, all the homes in the community have hurricane impact windows and doors. I know I just repeated myself, but I do that on a regular basis just to kind of remind viewers like yourself as you're watching these videos. Now again, they're gonna offer three different floor plans when it comes to the townhome models. They're gonna offer seven different floor plans in the single family home models. And if you're looking at this screen, let's look at some of the floor plans on the single family. I'm sure you've already done your research, but I'm also gonna point out some interesting information on these models throughout today's video once we go into other sections of what you can do and what you can't do. Cadence at Tradition, again, is a gated community. You're about seven minutes from the downtown Tradition area where all the shopping's at. You're like 10 minutes away from I-95. You're about 35, 40 minutes away to Jensen Beach about 50 minutes to West Palm Beach, depending on traffic, and you're about 35 minutes to Jupiter, Florida. So Cadence at Tradition, again, is one of the newest communities, and it's probably one of the best values in Tradition for what the homes offer. Now, let's get started and go to the next section of today's video, and we're gonna talk about the time frame to build if you're looking to build a new home here in Tradition. Now, before we get started on today's video about the Cadence at Tradition community here in Port St. Lucie, Florida, if you're new to my channel, my name is David Rogers. I am a licensed real estate broker. And if you're looking to move to Port St. Lucie, Florida, you're looking to purchase a home between now and 12 months from now, I encourage you to call me, text me, or shoot me an email. I'd love the opportunity to help you and your family find the perfect home here in Port St. Lucie, Florida, or even the surrounding areas of Martin County and Palm Beach County, Florida. We are gonna be your eyes and ears when you're searching for the perfect property. So again, today's video, we're gonna cover a lot of topics about Cadence at Tradition. 
we're going to go over a lot of information that you're just not going to find on any of the other YouTube videos. But before you schedule any time to come down here and visit the models or the builders, just keep in mind, it doesn't cost you as the buyer a single penny to hire us as realtors. The builders pay all of our commissions. You're not going to get any discounts for not using us as realtors. We're going to be your eyes and ears when you're building new construction or searching for any home in the area. So again, all my contact information will be throughout the video down in the description below. Now let's get started on today's video about Cadence at Tradition. So the time frame to build here in Cadence at Tradition is going to be a little quicker than a lot of the other communities in Port St. Lucie, Florida, if you're looking at new construction homes. Cadence at Tradition is more or less what they call a spec home builder. They're not a custom home builder. I wouldn't really call them a, even a semi-custom home builder. So this allows them to build homes faster. So if you're looking for a home a year from now, you're going to have to wait a few more months, depending on when you're watching the video, before you even have the option to choose a lot, choose your design options, and sign a contract. A lot of the homes that are currently available or will be available in the next one to three months. Cadence at Tradition does have some quick move in homes like this one right here that we're looking at. This is called the Capitol Reef. This is a four bedroom, three bathroom home with 2,500 square feet under air. It kind of gives you an idea. Here's the price right here on this home. Now we'll go over the design options later on to go over more of what's included. But time frame to build, if you're looking to sign a contract today, you're looking about five months to seven months before the home is completed. So keep that in mind if you're planning on moving here, and let's say you need a home by July or August, you're gonna have to sign a contract in the next month to two months, give or take, in order to purchase a home that'll be ready near the end of the summer. So again, that's just a quick introductory or information about the time frame to build here in Cadence at Tradition. Now let's move on over to deposits required if you do want to sign a contract and secure a home in a lot. Now this is another very good question when it comes to what are deposits and what deposits are required if you want to sign a contract with a new home builder. Every builder is different, but most of the builders currently what they're doing, and there's going to be variables on this. So let's say that you're going to get pre-approved for an FHA loan or a VA loan. Now VA loans may change. FHA loans, they're going to require a 5% deposit. So if the total home is $500,000 all in with the lot, the upgrades, you're gonna to have to put down five, a 5% 5 deposit or $25,000. And whatever the difference is at closing, including the closing costs, will be due at closing four months from now or eight months from now. Now, if you're paying cash, they're gonna require a 10% deposit. And you would have to generally prove that you have the cash available to purchase a home or they may ask for proof that your current home is under contract. So there are some variables in regards to that. A lot of people that we're talking to need to sell their homes wherever they live at now, and they expect to use the extra cash from the sale to pay cash, or that'll be their down payment in order to purchase a home here. That's where you're gonna run into some problems because you're gonna to have to be pre-approved by the lender. And if you physically don't have the five or 10% deposit now, you're gonna have a hard time securing any contract with any builder here in Port St. Lucie. So again, excuse me there, just remember 5% to 10% deposit is required on all homes even if it's nine months out. The next thing I wanna talk about is the builder incentives. Everybody always asks, what are the incentives that the builder's offering? 
And there is no exact answer for builder incentives. It doesn't matter if you're looking at Cadence at Tradition, if you're looking at PGA Verano, Central Park, Seville, Kenley. If you've been watching other videos, no builder is gonna give you an exact number on incentives. Sometimes they'll give you a ballpark. Sometimes they will tell you, hey, currently we have a $15,000 incentive on this one particular home or model if you sign a contract this week. Cadence at Tradition, I'm gonna go over some of the things that I've seen so far. Uh, just last weekend, or actually, actually two days ago, sorry, one of my clients, they purchase a townhome, they just signed a contract on the Ellery floor plan, which is the largest townhome floor plan. The builder gave them $5,000 in incentive, but you have to use the builder's lender. You will save money by using the builder's lender, and we'll talk about that in a future part of this video. Um, they also agreed, and this may not happen again, my buyers, had a lease agreement where they live at currently that was gonna cost them two months or a two month cancellation fee to get out. The builder basically said, if you're willing to sign the contract now, we will credit you to buy you out of your lease. So that is an incentive that the builder offered. Now, when it comes to single family homes, I've seen certain floor plans or available homes that had 25 to $45,000 in incentives. Again, the incentives change weekly, daily, monthly. It just depends on how many homes they have available, how many homes they need to sell for the next month. So that's the best answer I can give you when it comes to incentives. If you decide to call the builder directly, they're gonna give you the runaround. You're just gonna scratch your head and go, what the heck, why is it so hard? Because even the salespeople don't get exact information all the time because it changes so often. So just keep that in mind when it comes to the incentives. When you're serious and you're ready to sit down with the salesperson and you're ready to pick out the lot, the home, the options, at that point, they can work with you to give you any incentives they may have available at that given time. Now, we talked about incentives that the builder offers. When the builders offer you certain incentives, in most cases, especially if they say we'll pay all your closing costs, if they say we'll give you $10,000 towards your closing costs or prepaids, you are gonna have to use the builder's preferred lender if you wanna take advantage of those incentives. You are not obligated to use the lender. You can use any lender you want but the builder at that time is not obligated to give you those incentives. So just take that and remember that it's best to use the builder's lender in most cases when it comes to the incentives being offered. If the builder's not offering any incentives, then definitely shop around and do your homework and contact other lenders if you're gonna get a loan or a mortgage. Um, pretty much every builder, anywhere you go, the incentives, the flex cash, they'll call it flex cash. Flex cash could be you could put it towards your closing costs, you could buy down your interest rate. You have to use the builder's preferred lender. Cadence at Tradition, which is Mattamy Homes, is no different than any other builder. They have their own in-house lender for their community and for the builder itself. So just keep that in mind. Again, if you have any questions, just reach out to me. So let's talk a little bit about lot premiums here in Cadence at Tradition. So lot premiums currently as of January, 2024. So depending on when you're watching this video, these numbers will change. That's why I tell people, call me, text me, email me to get the most up-to-date information. But let's talk briefly here. Prime example, I just went under contract with a client on the Ellery floor plan, which is the largest three bedroom, two and a half bath townhome, and they got lot 22. Now lot 22, if you notice, seems wider than the other ones right here, if you're looking at my mouse, they paid an $8,000 lot premium for that lot. And right here, this is about a 20 foot berm where it's gonna create a lot of privacy, no one's gonna be able to see in your backyard. So if you say you wanted a lakefront lot on one of the single family homes, 
you're gonna pay anywhere from $30,000 up to $50,000 depending on the lot. These lots right here that have the stars, these are gonna be a smaller lot size than the ones that have the squares. These are gonna be the larger models for the larger home, so these lot premiums will be a little bit more because of the size of the land. Kind of give you an idea, the squares is part of the heritage collection. This is gonna be the larger floor plans. Whereas the star, if you're looking here, will be part of the Patriot collection. So these are 50 foot wide lots on the Patriot collection. And the heritage is a 60 foot wide lot. So this is some good information for you if you're looking at this map. Now let's bring up another topic. Most people go, hey, I wanna build the gateway floor plan and I wanna put it on this lot right here. You gotta hold your horses because the builder has already decided which homes are going on every one of these lots. And we'll get into more details about that right after this. So the next thing I wanna talk about is the homes that are already pre-chosen by the builder because they're gonna they're gonna offset all the homes they're not gonna have 20 of the same homes side by side by side it won't be a cookie cutter community like that and this is where another thing changes right now i don't know if this one shows it yet so lot 236 is going to be the coastal elevation we'll go over the elevation shortly and it's going to be the gateway floor plan. If you go to lot 227, it's going to be a gateway floor plan with the West Indies elevation. If you go down here to lot 233, that's going to be the Cascades floor plan with the West Indies elevation. And you're probably wondering, what is this number two, number seven, and number one, that's gonna be the color scheme on the outside of the home. So again, where this is really important at is the builder has already chosen or predetermined which floor plans are gonna be on these lots. They will not change the floor plans because they've already applied for the permits to build those homes. That will take us into the next topic of structural options. This is another important topic that buyers need to understand if you're considering buying a home or building a home in cadence at tradition. Structural options, what are structural options? If you're looking here at this floor plan, this is the capital reef floor plan. This is one of the one of the homes that are for sale. If you notice that the price was 529, it actually went up to 559. Again, the price change over time. So structural options for this one would be, instead of being a three, a three bedroom, three bedroom, two bathroom home, a structural option that has to be, when they apply for the permits, would add a third bathroom. That's considered a structural option. Once the builder has already applied for the permits, they cannot change these options on that particular home. So again, permits take about two months from when they apply for the permits for the city to approve them. Once the builder gets the approval, they are not gonna make changes on the structural options. Now let's, let's go look at another floor plan real quick. If you're enjoying today's video, please take the time to smash that like button and also leave comments. It really helps out my videos get in front of more viewers just like yourself. Now let's take a, take a look at the gateway floor plan. So let's let this load real quick. All right, so let's talk about the gateway floor plan. This is a popular floor plan. I have another client that is gonna choose this floor plan most likely. Now. Let's go back again. So this home comes standard as a three bedroom, two and a half bathroom with 2,209 square feet under air. Structural option that you can make changes on, if you notice here, the covered lanai area, you can do 
the extended lanai. That would be a structural option that most of the floor plans when the builder applies for permits is gonna have the covered lanai. Another thing you can do in this floor plan as well, instead of a tub shower combo, you can just do a stand up shower in the second bathroom. This one as well, you could add a full third bathroom instead of a two and a half bathroom. So these are what's considered structural options that you cannot change on these floor plans. The permits have already been pulled. So I hope this answers a lot of information, maybe stuff you didn't you weren't you weren't aware of basically. But this is something to consider with every floor plan has different design options or structural options that are already chosen by the builder in advance. Now let's talk a little bit about the elevations that are available here in Cadence at Tradition. The builder offers three different elevations. They offer the coastal elevation, which is one of the most popular elevations. They offer the modern, which is another popular one. And the West Indies, for some reason, is not as popular as the other two. Now with the elevations, the builder has already chosen which elevation will be. If you remember earlier in the video, I talked about the builders already applied for permits for certain models on certain lots. The elevations have already been chosen as well. Can you change the elevation on a lot that the builder has already chosen and designed? Yes and no. On rare occasions, if it's far enough out, there is a slight possibility, but it's a rarity that you could ask them that you want the coastal floor plan instead of the modern or the West Indies instead of the coastal. But again, it's a rarity that you're unlikely gonna be able to do that. The builder does it because they don't want too many of the same elevations side by side or on the same street so that none of the homes look the same. Now, depending on the elevation, the price changes on every single model. For instance, for instance, on the Cascades floor plan, not sure if you can see this, but the Cascades floor plan, the West Indies elevation would be the most affordable in the base price of the home. The coastal, which is one of the most popular, is the middle price, base price, and the modern is the most expensive. And it's kind of funny because more people like the coastal elevation over all the other elevations, and it's the middle price option. So again, the elevations, there's three different elevations when it comes to the single family homes, both the single story and the two story homes. Once again, if you have any questions, just feel free to reach out to me anytime. Now let's head on to the next topic in today's video. So let's talk about how Cadence at Tradition is a little different compared to other communities when it comes to designing the finishes or the appearance of your home. Cadence at Tradition does does not allow buyers to choo pick and choose whatever they want for tile floorings, countertops, kitchen cabinets. Rather, they offer what's called design packages. They actually offer five different design packages. And if you're looking right here, there's five different design packages. And this one right here, the Caliber Collection, is included in the base price. And we're gonna go over more details of this in this section of the video. But if you're looking at the screen right now, there's five different design packages. This one right here is called the Pearl C Design Package. How do we know it's a Pearl C? Make it very simple. The pearl package has the white cabinets. So it'll have the white cabinets in the kitchen and the bathrooms. It'll have this style tile flooring in the main living areas along with the bathrooms. So again, let's go kind of go back real quick. Tile comes in the living room area and usually the den or the flex room, but the bedrooms are always going to have carpet unless you pay to have the entire house tiled throughout. So in the bathroom, 
you'll see again, this is gonna have the same countertops, the same quartz countertops. You'll notice the tile is more of a rectangle on the shower wall with the Pearl C design. Now let's go over to another floor plan, the Cascades, and I'm gonna show you the Cashmere B design package as well. So this is the Cascades floor plan. This is actually one of the models located here in Cadence at Tradition. And this floor plan is gonna have the Cashmere B design package. If you're looking at this picture, this is gonna be this package right here. So Cashmere B is gonna indicate that it has these color cabinets. These are kind of like a lighter, super light gray taupe color, I think somebody told me before. You'll have your quartz countertops. And the letter B as in boy is gonna be for the wood plank style flooring. This is tile flooring that looks like wood. There's three, there's four different variations of the wood plank flooring depending on the design package you choose. Again, you're gonna have the wood plank flooring in the main living areas. The bedrooms come with carpet unless you pay to upgrade tile throughout. Now that takes me back to another section of the video. When you sign a contract on a home, depending on what stage the home is in while it's under construction, if the builder did not plan to tile the entire house, if you're too far along, the builder will not add the tile to that home in the bedrooms itself. So just keep that in mind if you're thinking about, again, carpet comes standard in the bedrooms. Almost every builder does this right now in Port St. Lucie. Now the bathroom, so here's where it's a little different. If you go with the Cashmere B floor plan, again, you got your quartz countertops. You get a better view of what the color of the cabinets are. So it's the same color as in the kitchen. And this is your tile down here on the shower area on the floor. And then you have these uh, railroad, railway tile, more of a rectang rectang rectangular white tile in the bathroom. So that's another one of the design packages. Now, let me take you over to, I believe, the Mount Rainier floor plan, which has another design package to give you a better visual about this. So the next model, to show you a different variation, the design package, this is the Mount Rainier. This is the largest floor plan they offer. It's a two-story home. Again, all the windows are gonna be hurricane impact resistant eight foot exterior front doors, eight foot sliding glass doors leading out of the great room. Now this one, let's double check which floor plan so package this has. So this has the Pearl, this is gonna be the Pearl B design package. Again, the Pearl package will have the white kitchen cabinets and white bathroom cabinets. It'll have this quartz countertop here, the undermount sink. Again, the undermount sink is standard on any of the design packages. And if I forgot to say it earlier, this community is on natural gas. So your cooktop or your range will be on natural gas. Your water heater will be on natural gas or have nat used natural gas. And your clothes dryer will be natural gas. We'll go over a couple things at the end of the video of what's not included and when you purchase a home here as well. But let's go back into the design packages. So this will be the Pearl B design package. Again, this is a different wood plank style flooring, a little bit different color. Again, there's four different packages that offer this flooring, but a different color and variation. And then what's kind of different too, you go into the bathroom. Again, white cabinets, the same quartz countertops. Here's your wood plank style flooring right here. The same tile on the floor in the shower. And you'll notice this tile is a little different on the wall, wall tile in the shower. And also this is gonna be, I believe, the spa package, the spa shower package, which is an upgrade. Here's a better view of the second bathroom upstairs, wood plank tile flooring. This one has the tub and the shower and a transom window. 
And this gives you a closer look at the quartz countertops. So this is what's part, this is the Pearl B design package. Now let's take a look at one more model and show you another variation for reference. So the next design package, this is on the Biscayne Bay floor plan here in the community. Let's go back to the start of this one right here. So the Biscayne Bay is going to be the largest single story floor plan that the builder offers. It offers 2,750 square feet under air. It has a double front door where most of the homes have a single front door. But let's go to the design package on this home. So this is gonna be the Cashmere A design package. So again, that, that one color, like a taupe color, light gray color, kitchen cabinets, the white countertops, which are quartz. And if you notice this tile, this is not gonna be the larger rectangular or square, the square tile. This is gonna be more like a 17 and a half inch by 17 and a half inch square tile. Again, this is the Cashmere A design package. Here's another view of it right here. So this is another design option as well. And they also have, we saw the Cashmere B. We've also seen the Pearl B and C. I believe we've seen the Pearl B and C. And again, same thing, carpet in the bedrooms unless you pay to upgrade to have the house tiled throughout. And now you get a better feel of the tile in the bathrooms. Again, this is the Cashmere A. So now the floor tiles in the shower are a little bit different and the wall tiles are gonna be, these are gonna be a smaller portion of this just to kind of give you a reference of what it looks like. So again, I hope this answered some of the design packages that are available. And as well, if I didn't show you earlier, again, I'll keep this up for a few seconds. It's very simple to figure out the prices of these design packages. And at any point, I can email you the updated price sheet on the design packages, the base prices. We, I'm in the community a couple times a week showing clients. So again, I encourage you to call me, text me, email me before you head down here, before you start looking at the models and the floor plans. I can make your life a lot simpler and answer a lot of the questions so that when you do plan a visit here, you don't have to spend as much time scratching your head trying to figure out all this information that I've already figured out going through with other clients that have already gone under contract in this community. Now let's head on to one of the next topics and we're almost gonna be finished up today on today's video of Cadence at Tradition. One other advantage about Cadence at Tradition when it comes to the HOA fees or homeowner association fees, they have one of the lowest overall homeowner association fees in all compared to any of the other Tradition communities. The HOA fees are gonna range from $338 a month to $358 a month. And that just depends on the floor plan or the, you know, basically the model or floor plan. Um, what's included in your HOA fees? Well, number one, Cadence at Tradition is a gated community. It is not a man gated community by no means. That's gonna cover the maintenance, the common area maintenance the community is gonna have a community pool. It's gonna have a waiting pool. It's gonna have a grilling station as well. What is a grilling station? Just an area people can grill and cook food if you don't have a grill at your own house. Basically, they want you to get out and meet your neighbors and get to know everybody in your community. As well, including your monthly HOA fees, it's gonna cover the exterior of your home, not the house, but it's gonna cover your irrigation, the water into your grass, landscaping, um, it's gonna cover your sprinklers, it's gonna cover high-speed internet, cable TV with 70 channels, it's gonna have HBO, it's gonna have an alarm monitoring system included in your monthly HOA fees. Because Cadence is part of tradition, $195 of that $338 to $358 is the tradition HOA fees. Again, that's included in the $338 to 
tradition being as large as it is, is able to package all this together at a much more affordable price to offer the residents that purchase homes in the community. For an example, I pay almost $170 a month just for high speed internet alone where I live at. So $195 covering your lawn maintenance, irrigation, if your sprinklers get broken, the landscapers take care of that, cable TV, it's a bargain. Now, Cadence at Tradition does not have a ton of amenities. It doesn't have the fitness center. It doesn't have a clubhouse. It's a covered cabana. So it's bare bones minimum when it comes to amenities, but that's also why your HOA fees are gonna be less. So if you're looking for a community with more amenities, then Cadence at Tradition may not be the community for you. You may have to look at other ones like Seville at Tradition. You may wanna look at Kenley at Tradition or PJ Verano or many of the other communities out there if you're looking for that different lifestyle that has a ton of amenities within a community. So property taxes are another thing that comes up with many viewers out there that are considering moving to Port St. Lucie, Florida. I will forewarn you, property taxes in St. Lucie County, Florida, where Port St. Lucie is located, overall is higher than many other areas in the state of Florida. Um, the trade-off there is that home values for what you get here in Port St. Lucie, Florida are much more affordable as well as your homeowner insurance premiums are way cheaper here in Port St. Lucie, Florida. We'll talk about homeowner's insurance shortly in today's video as well. But property taxes, what I would tell you to do just for a good estimate or an average, take whatever the purchase price is. If it's 400,000, 450, 550,000, 600,000, times that purchase price by 0 0.017778. That'll give you a realistic number of what your property taxes will be. Now, that's not going to include the CDD fee that you will pay if you live anywhere within Tradition. Now, the CDD fees here in the Cadence at Tradition community are gonna range between about $959 a year, which gets added into your property taxes, up to $1,122 a year added to your property taxes. CDD fees, basically it's a bond that usually spans over 30 years. And again, every community in tradition is gonna have different CDD fees. Some will be a shorter time period than others. Some have already been paid off if they're 25 or 30 years old. So again, property taxes do come up. Property taxes are a little bit higher here in Port St. Lucie. People do complain about that. But again, you're able to purchase a new home, newer home for a much more reasonable price when you compare it to nearby areas like Stewart, Florida, Palm City, Palm Beach County, Florida, like Jupiter, West Palm, Palm Beach Gardens. For the price of homes here in Port St. Lucie, Florida, you can barely buy a condo or a townhome that's a resale property for the same price point that you're seeing in Port St. Lucie. So personally, the property taxes don't really affect me when I give this area the value that it deserves. So again, CDD fees are gonna be included in any gated community or any community within tradition and CDD fees change from community to community. So there is no one set number. One of the biggest advantages about purchasing a new home, especially here in Port St. Lucie, Florida, the cost of your yearly homeowner's insurance premium is gonna be pretty inexpensive when compared to the rest of the state of Florida. We are seeing anywhere from $1,500 a year up to $2,500 a year for your yearly homeowner's insurance on new construction homes, even on some of the newer resale homes. So this is one advantage about buying a new home in Cadence at Tradition or any of the other communities here in Port St. Lucie, Florida. If you live closer to the ocean or the intercoastal, you will pay a little bit higher premium. But once you're west of the Florida Turnpike and I-95, 
your yearly insurance premiums are going to be very, very affordable. So if you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much for lasting this long and watching the entire video about everything possible you need to know if you're a buyer looking to purchase a home here in Cadence at Tradition. Um, I know this is a long video, but let's do a quick recap of a lot of information. Number one, Cadence at Tradition is being built by Mattamy Homes. This is a gated community. It's not a man-gated community. The HOA fees are gonna be between $338 a month to $358 a month, just depending on which floor plan model you have. And the, the HOA fees are gonna include high-speed internet, cable TV with 70 channels, HBO. It's gonna have an alarm monitoring system, and I know I miss, it has one of those doorbell cameras, kind of like a ring camera included. The community is on natural gas, so your cooktop or your range will be gas, your clothes dryer will be natural gas, and your water heater will be natural gas. Now, water heater wise, we believe currently they have the 50 gallon water heaters in most of the newer homes that were just built. They are changing over to an instant or a tankless gas water heater on all the future homes from what we understand. Now that takes me to something else. Here's what's not included with the builder when you buy a home. The refrigerator is not included. You will have to buy that separately. Call me if you're looking to buy here and you use me as your realtor, I will credit you $2,000 towards your uh, refrigerator after closing. But you gotta call me and use me as your realtor for me to give you that credit. That's one of the benefits that I can afford to do because I am a real estate broker. All my commission goes directly to my office. I don't have to share it. So to help buyers out like yourself, that is something I can do to help you out. Secondly, the washer machine and dryer are not included. So you will have to purchase your own washer and dryer. Now let's go back over what the HOA fees cover. Again, we talked about high-speed internet, cable TV, HBO. You got your uh, alarm monitoring system with the doorbell. Outside, your landscaping, your lawn cutting, your irrigation for your grass, your outdoor pest control, the sprinkler systems or the sprinklers are covered in your HOA dues. Cadence at Tradition is located in Tradition. It's about seven minutes to the downtown Tradition area where all the shopping's at, the restaurants. You're about eight minutes to 10 minutes away from I-95. 35 minutes, 40 minutes to Jensen Beach if you want to head over to the beach because that would be your closest beach to, in, if you live in Port St. Lucie. 50 minutes roughly to West Palm Beach, 35, 40 minutes roughly to Jupiter, Florida. So you also, again, Cadence and Tradition will have what's called a CDD fee. It's a community development district fee that every community within Tradition has. Every community, the fees change. Some are less, some are more. Cadence and Traditions around $960 to $1,122 a year, adding into your property taxes. We did go over property taxes earlier in the video, so go back and watch that section if you forgot. Um, base price of the homes will just be the home itself with the caliber collection, as we talked about earlier on the design packages, that will be the caliber, that wood color cabinets. It'll have the one choice of granite. Again, there's only one choice of granite, carpet in the bedrooms, and a couple choices of tile. The rest of these are upgrades, and we did go over before the price of the upgrades for the design packages. Again, there's quick moving homes available. If you need a home to move in quicker, they're coming available. If you choose to build a home from start to finish, you know, in some cases it could be five months or eight months depending on 
if the builder already got the permits approved and approved by the city. Um, when it comes to incentives, again, incentives are a tough one. When you actually are sitting down in front of the salesperson, we can talk incentives because at that time, if you're willing to sign a contract, then the incentives usually get better. They'll do more if you're sitting in front of them and you're ready to sign a contract and give them a deposit. What else are we missing here? What else are we missing here? Cadence and Tradition, again, once it's completed, it says on their website around 300 homes. I heard from the salespeople that when it's completed down the road, we'll probably have just under 1,000. Now that could change, but as of right now, it's gonna be 300. They do have a townhome section in there. There's three different floor plans. Everything in there is gonna be under $400,000. They're really nice floor plans. They have a two car garage. And again, remember, I have links to all my walkthrough videos in the description below so you can check out every one of the floor plans in the community. And as more floor plans come available once like quick moving homes are ready, I will do more walkthrough tours. I know I'm missing something here, but again, if you're looking to move to Port St. Lucie, Florida, you're looking to purchase a home, especially new construction, it does not cost you a penny to use me as a realtor. The builders pay our commission. All the sellers on resale homes pay our commission. You as the buyer don't pay any commissions to us as realtors. When it comes to closing fees, lender fees, those are always gonna change a little bit, but generally if you use the builder's lender, you're gonna get more incentives and more discounts at closing if you choose the builder's lender. And once again, my name is David Rogers. I'm a licensed realtor here in South Florida. If you're looking to buy, move to this area, just I encourage you to call me, text me, reach out to me. All my information is below. And if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below or get a hold of me directly. And we will see you on a future video. Make sure you check up in the top left and right hand corner. I'll have links to other videos soon. And I have other videos coming out of other communities, so make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you're notified the minute these videos come out.